accustomed nowadays to sitting down in a coffee shop, pulling out our laptop, and plugging into free public Wi-Fi. It's almost expected that any building we walk into, we're going to get instant access to our email and our social media accounts. But how about in a car? On a bus? Or even the middle of the woods? So that got us thinking, could we ever have free public Wi-Fi across the entire United States? There's a proposal from FCC to make use of the white spaces for possibly uh, this Wi-Fi-like network. Um, so the white spaces are uh, frequency bands uh, between TV and radio stations okay. uh, that um, are sort of act like buffers so that uh, channels don't interfere with each other. The FCC basically uh, wants to make this, uh, these bands uh, not subject to a license. So the idea is that the private sector can then make use of these white spaces. The main challenge is that trying to make use of this uh, in a Wi-Fi-like fashion is going to be much harder than traditional Wi-Fi. Um, and uh, one of the problems is that this white space uh, varies depending on where you are. If you imagine maybe someday every car having such a receiver so that you can have Wi-Fi while you're traveling. Wow. Uh, you know, you can imagine that scenario. But it, then that's, uh, there are going to be huge uh, logistic issues. For example, how do these cars authenticate themselves to this network? Right. Yeah. If you're traveling that's, across the country, right. how does that affect How your, does that affect you? Right, you know, right. Who manages that network? If it's going to be the government, say, which, which is one idea, uh, managing this network, then there are issues about privacy. Right. So I think it's going to be a while before we see this uh, realized in that form. So are there examples of any of this happening right now? It's been tried out in some rural areas uh, for providing broadband access in um, rural communities where there is no traditional broadband access. Mm -hmm. Right now, most of the experiments have been more smaller scale, I would say, with, uh, say, a few receivers uh, and one base station rather than uh, scaling up to a large, um, large population. I would expect that uh, most of the work will probably be done in the private sector, not necessarily by the government. That's kind of my hypothesis. So if it does turn out that it's private institutions, do we still have the issues of roaming and changing networks? Yeah, yeah that, that'll still be there. Yeah. So it's really hard. Uh, right. So I think there's a, this vision of providing this at a large scale. Mm -hmm. How it's realized, I think, uh, is an open question. It looks like some of these things are already happening, these white spaces in campus buses and rural areas across the country. It'll probably be a while before that happens late nationally, but think where we were 10 years ago. You never know.